Welcome to MCOM 320. My name is Nick Oxenden, and I'll be one of your TAs this semester. To begin, I'll share a little bit about myself. I am originally from North Carolina, but I now call Colorado home. I'm currently a junior studying economics, and I returned home from my mission in the summer of 2020. I'm excited to be here with all of you this upcoming semester. In this video, I'm going to take you through our Slack workspace. Slack is a great tool that we have here in this class. It's a wonderful platform that can be used to communicate quickly with the professor, the TAs, and with peers. So let's go ahead and look at what the invitation to join the Slack, the Slack workspace will be like. You will receive an email that looks somewhat like this. The email will say that you have been invited to work with either the MCOM TA, myself, Brooklyn, or Ashley in the Slack workspace. To join us on Slack, go ahead and press this Join Now button. When you click that button, it'll redirect you to Slack. Your Slack space will look a little different from mine, and when you first join, you'll be asked a few basic questions, I believe, that will help you set up your profile. But once you set up your profile, you'll be brought into a space that looks somewhat like this. This is a great time to talk about the ways you can get onto Slack. You can access Slack in your browser, but there are also apps you can download. There's an app for desktop and there's a mobile app. I really recommend downloading the mobile app because I found it incredibly helpful to have Slack on my phone. That helps me just to stay up to date with what's happening in the class and that also makes Slack very accessible to you. Personally, I like to use the desktop app. So I'm gonna transition over there to the desktop app. And this is our Slack workspace. Let's start by talking about how you can set up your profile. To do that, you can go to the top right hand corner of the page. You can click and this menu will open. Go ahead and click on edit profile. Here, make sure that your full name and display name are what you want them to be. Um, you're welcome to leave the what I do space blank and make sure your time zone is correct. Also, please upload an image of yourself. We would love to get to see what you all look like, and I found that working with others on Slack becomes a lot more personable when pictures are uploaded. Next, go ahead and go to the View Profile tab. Here, you can see a few more options. Make sure that everything looks correct. This is a great way to review your profile. There are also a few other settings that you can access. If you come here, you can go to, um, to your settings menu. Yours will look different from mine as you will not have the same owner uh, status as I do. But if you go through these fields, there are ways that you can set your notification settings. And I would highly, highly encourage you to go ahead and set your notification settings. We'll actually go ahead and, and look at that by going to the Preferences menu. As you can see at the top here, there's an option to be notified about all new messages, direct messages, mentions, and keywords are nothing. Again, I would highly recommend selecting to be notified about all new messages. Here is the notification schedule. You can adjust your notifications. So you'll still receive new messages within your Slack account outside of the hours that you set, but you just simply won't get a notification. So for me, if I'm messaged after 10 o'clock, it won't notify me. I'll have to see that message the next day when I, when I log in. You can, again, edit sound and appearance and a few other, few other settings. There's more here in the side um, menu. I will not be going through each and every setting, trusting that um, you guys can look through these settings and change them how you would want to. So now let's talk about some of the basics for how to actually use Slack itself. If you notice here on the left hand side in the sidebar, there are different channels. These channels are places to talk about specific things. So in the announcements channel, it's a place where you'll see important announcements for MCOM 320. Brooklyn has been so great, she's gone through and updated some of these announcement descriptions to reflect what the channel is about. So if you ever have a question about what the purpose of a channel is,
go ahead and look at the channel description. So we have channels set up for announcements, assignment questions, and let's talk about this employment channel. We have felt that it would be a great idea to create a place in Slack where we can talk about employment, where we can say we're looking for a job or if we know of jobs that are available or open, we can post about that here. We can share tips for interviewing, tips for applying. This is a great place to ask questions when we get to the resume assignment, the video interview assignment, and the PAR story assignment later on in the course. This is a channel here for general questions. We find often that students have similar questions. If you have a question and you feel comfortable asking it to the class, I would very much encourage you to come and ask it here in the general questions channel. You might just ask uh, a question that someone else is looking for the answer to. This can be a great way to collaborate as a class. And if you know the answer to a question that's asked here, please go ahead and answer it. Answers don't only have to come from Professor Packer, the TAs. This next channel is one dedicated to grammar in real life. This is a place for grammar memes, examples of poor grammar that you might see in the world around you, and just a place to talk about grammar. Grammar is a big focus in this course, and sadly many people view grammar negatively, but grammar can be fun, and this is a place to have fun with grammar. The next channel is a happy thoughts channel. This is a place to share successes, words of encouragement, and positive vibes to help us all get through the semester. Please share your happy thoughts. I think it's very uplifting when we talk about um, things that are positive and lift and encourage each other. This resources channel is a place where we can share helpful resources with each other. Professor Pack, uh, myself, Brooklyn, and Ashley have all compiled uh, different helpful tips or tricks or resources for you, and we plan to share some of those throughout the semester. So, for example, you can see Professor Pack has already started by sharing some video conference tips. I would encourage you to check this out because this is a little document, a little infographic that can help you understand how to nail a video conference meeting or presentation, and we'll have a few of those in our class. This last channel is one dedicated to study tips. Professor Pack has some awesome study tips that she shares and tips about time management too. This will be a place where she and others who would like to share study tips can share them because, let's be honest, taking online classes can be kind of difficult. So having a few good study tips up your sleeve can be really helpful and really advantageous to you. If you have any questions about the channels, please go ahead and, and message either myself, Brooklyn, or Ashley. We'd be happy to help you out. And Slack is a tool where you can directly message Professor Pack and the TAs. Also, when you begin collaborating with other students in um, peer review assignments or team projects, Slack is a great re resource to use to message and communicate with your peers. So to send a message to someone, you come up to this uh, little icon here with the pencil and the notepad for a new message. You can type in the name of the person that you're trying to reach. So if I was going to message Professor Pack, I would type in Professor Pack. But I'd like to give an example of how you can use Slack to communicate with the TAs. Um, a bit of a classroom norm here, if you will. Um, we, the TAs, ask that you include all of us together in a group message when you come to us. And depending on uh, the nature of your question or concern, we might also loop in Professor Pack, given that she is such a wonderful resource and truly an ally to you as a student. She wants to help you succeed, and she's she has the power to do that. So. Oftentimes, we'll, we'll loop her in so she can be of help to us all. But for some questions, it's completely okay and appropriate to come to the TAs. So I have an example here. If I wanted to ask a question, let's say about grammar, I could type in the name of the TA so I could add Brooklyn, and I could also add Ashley, and please add me also, Nick. Um, I can't add myself because this is my profile, but for our example's sake, this is what we'll go with. So you can see here a little bit of a, of a conversation, an example, if you will. So I've said, hello, I'm having a difficult time understanding pronoun and antecedent agreement. Would one of you be able to help me? And here we see a wonderful response by Brooklyn. She's answered my question, reminded me of a course resource, a wonderful Google Doc that has the answer to my question, and then offers to explain more if I still have questions. 
And so here you can see I've responded saying thank you for your help. To type another message, you go ahead and come to this field and you can type away, you can type whatever you want. Um, you can bold your message. You have some text editing capabilities here. Uh, something that might be helpful to you is you can at someone so you can tag them directly. So um, this may not work very well in this example, but um, maybe in your team projects, you would want to ask for a response from Ashley. So I could at Ashley and say, what are your thoughts? And then I could send that to if I wanted. Um, files can be shared in Slack. There are a few helpful um, tips and tricks that are on Slack's website. I will include a link to the Slack Help Center in the description of this video so that you can access additional resources if you have any questions. And finally, before we close, there's one last feature I'd like to show you. So if we come to the announcements channel here, we see that there's a message from Brooklyn saying, welcome to MCOM 320. We are so excited for winter 2021. I'd like to use this time now to show how to reply in threads. To reply in threads, go ahead and hover over the message you want to reply to and click reply in thread. This will pull up a little thread on the side of your page. And here you can reply to announcements or um, general posts in the channels. So see, I have this message typed out. It says, woo, me too, and a few fun emojis. If I go ahead and send that, it sends it within a thread. Notice that this thread is nested underneath the message. Using threads helps us keep the channels more scrollable and readable. So please use threads when communicating in Slack when you are communicating in the channels. Thank you. Thank you for watching this Slack navigation video. I'm excited to meet you all and work with you all this semester. And to reward you for sticking it out until the end, I'm going to give you a special offer. The first 30 students who message me in Slack will receive a pack perk. A pack perk is valid for a one day extension on any assignment. I'll send you a file that contains the perk itself, and then to redeem that perk, you would just need to send us back the file and explain that you'd like to cash in your pack perk. So go ahead, join our Slack workspace, and I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you.